So you got for a really good win against Doncaster. Uh, how do we plan to build on that going into crew? Well, we've just got to look for uh, consistency of you know how we apply ourselves and, and make sure that um, it, it's not just you know been a joyous weekend after last Thursday's win and then relax on it. Um, it's got to be a, a work in progress still and and that we, we maintain the standard set last week. Yeah, 100%. And then, obviously, um, going into crew um, off the back of a win and preparations this week, how's that all been going so far? Yeah, good. Good yeah. intensity, actually, to every session. And it, it, uh, it's allowed us a really intense session on Monday, uh, which normally isn't the case because it's a recovery session, uh, and then followed that up with just as intense a session on, on Tuesday. And um, I think that was key last, last Thursday was... For the entirety of the game, we were an intense outfit, uh, full of concentration, but um, there was real tenacity to our, and energy to our game, and we have to bring that same positive energy to, to obviously, crew away. And crew themselves, obviously, very impressive and had a good season last season. What do you consider their sort of main strengths? Well, I think they're, they're a good uh, overall, a, a very good, smart outfit at, at this level, and um, big setup at crew. Uh, they always produce uh, good players, but. Um, and we go with three at the back and well marshalled at the back. You know, they've got good technical players through, through midfield and, and a bit of pace up front. Um, so they've got, they've got good players for this level, basically. They recruited a couple of League One players as well um, in midfield. And, you know, there's, there's a decent, talented group there. But um, we've just got to make sure that, you know, we, we try and nullify their strengths. And... Um, bring our strengths to the fore. And then Josh March and Jack Muldoon played up front together. Um, how impressed were you with that performance and that partnership? Yeah, I thought they did very well. Um, immense effort from those two and um, yeah, they they set really high standards on the night. And then busy schedule coming up. Can we expect many changes to the side either this weekend or the next few games with the you know different comp competitions coming up? Well, we'll see. You know, we want to build momentum. Um, we're aware that there's a chomping at the bit, um, but it, last week's performance was a good one. The setup and the system uh, allowed it us to get the best out of the players and um, against Doncaster's team, and uh, we're hoping for more of the same this weekend. And then two home games next week as well after this away game. How good is that to have you know a few a few home games together? Well, yeah, you know, that's uh, that's why it was important the performance and win last last week because we want to create a real hostile environment for opposition teams to come and uh, and play in and um, you know it was, a, it was a good tonic for the fans as well as us uh, and importantly gets them on our side because that's what we want and you know, it was a terrific atmosphere at our ground last week and and so it'd be good uh, to come back obviously with a, another positive performance and that's our aim. Brilliant, thank you very much. Cheers.